All right, so I want to put together this little video on how to get like different kinds of media to your device, like movies, music videos, TV shows, whatever like that. So this little application is called XBMC. I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a preview of it before I show you actually how to get it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. All right, once you open up this application, like I said before, media types. This has all types. You have pictures you can look at, uh, videos, music programs. Now it's a bit overwhelming at the beginning but say for example pictures right here on your home network you can set this up so that it can stream from your computer or whatever your device to your I guess your iPad and you can watch the media like if you have an internet connection. Same thing goes for music but other than just streaming say if you don't have any media on your computer or whatever like that you can stream from the internet. So if I go to music right here click on add-ons I got shoutcast I added right here, but if you click on get more, you can do like a, a vast crazy search for all different types of music. You can find like the AOL music, um, any different music that's online, your local radio stations, whatever, and you can add them over here to the list. This was for this example though, I'm just gonna show you shoutcast. Not that much of it, but just a little bit. Um it's showing me the top five hundred stations. And this is showing me different stations for the top 500 and how many listeners there are. I click on one of these, I actually can hear the radio station start to play. So that's just one little feature on here. Go ahead and click the home. And that's, that's all fine with that. But say for videos right here. In the videos category, you can look at pay-per-view fights. Yes, pay-per-view fights for free. You can look at movies and theaters. You can look at movies that have been out for who knows how long. You can look at all types of things like that. I'm not even clicking that one yet. My favorite one of all is programs, and that's what we're gonna be working on for today. And it's Navi X. That's what I'm trying to get for y'all. All right, before I actually show you though, let me go ahead and show you the video of what like I guess the perks of getting Navi X. All right, go ahead and click on Navi X. Let it load up. <clears throat> now Navi X has a bit of a different um I guess UI experience going on right here. You got much more yes eye candy hopefully it won't take too long to load up alright so in Navi X you have lots of categories on here you have most 24 hours uh, most viewed 24 hours last 7 days most recently updated I'm gonna go ahead and click on just 24 hours just to show you Now BX is really cool. It comes in handy even on trips. You got Wi-Fi connection. Well, if you don't have Wi-Fi connection, you go ahead and download some shows and then watch them whatever you want to. And I'm talking about like any shows you want. Any show that's even out that just came on TV probably like 30 minutes after it aired, it drops right on Navi X so you can watch it. Now, this one is taking forever. Me personally, um, I think the last thing I watched on here was like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I like watching little old episodes of it. All right, all right. Here's just the uh, most 24-hour, like I guess, categories they have on here, and you can just scroll with your finger like on your device and click on any of these series on here um, I think we're looking for the Pirate Bay click on the Pirate Bay right here I haven't been on here in a while so that's one of the consequences you haven't been on here in a while it takes a longer time for it to load up I guess for your cache whatever cache to fill up alright so it loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to let me see live streams right here, just for example. And here's a Tom and Jerry stream, um, King of Queens, Cartoon Network, Simpsons, whatever. I don't want to click on these. I might click on them. I don't know YouTube's kind of you know iffy with that. I'm gonna click on one of these probably about like two seconds just to show you. I'm gonna click on the Simpsons, I guess. Actually, nah. I'm click on something like you. I don't know what to click on. I'm gonna click on Fresh Prince. I'm gonna exit out. <laughs> All right. So 
that was the Fresh Prince right there. And you can watch the whole series on there. Only downside is they got it's just a random series because it's just streaming, so you don't know which episode it is until you actually get into it and start watching it. But after that, they're gonna show the next episode, next episode, next episode. 24 hours. And this is just a small part, like on XPMC right here. You got tons and tons of different stuff on here. All right, so the next part, how to get it. All right, so this is the second part right here on how to get the XPMC. So what you want to do is download it, which is in the description. I put the link on there to get the little zip file for the XPMC. Now, once you download that, save it to your desktop, wherever, email it to yourself, any kind of way where you get to it by using iFile. I'm going to show you different ways on how to put it onto your iPad once you, I guess, download it. All right, so the next part of that is getting the little, I guess, the little XPMC hub, the player, which is inside of Cydia. So you want to open up Cydia, and you want to type in XBMC. All right, so when you type in XBMC, you want to see all these different things on here. So what you want to get is one of the XBMC ISOs, this one right here. And also you want to get the XBMC Icon Pack, which is right here. I think once you install the XBMC ISO, it installs the other one automatically. All right, so once you install those, move on to the next step. You want to go ahead and take this file and you want to move it to this directory right here. And how to do it, for example, say if you put this in your um, your root of your device, it might be right here, documents, downloads. You want to go ahead and edit and copy it. Go down here, copy the link. And you just want to put it somewhere that's easy to get so it won't be hard to find later on. I just went ahead and added to my VAR, mobile, documents, and downloads. Like, say if I got an email, I can open my email, go to Gmail, take the link, and open it with iFile. When I open the iFile, you want to move that directory or that file to this directory right here. So another way you can do it, if you save it to your desktop, is click on this little wireless thing down here. And <clears throat> it's going to be an IP address. Once it finishes does all the scanning and stuff like that, it's going to give you an IP address. You take the IP address and you type it into your internet browser. Once you type in the internet browser, press enter and it's going to pop up a directory. You want to go ahead and navigate to the VAR mobile documents downloads. Take that little zip file that you got on your desktop, wherever, and you want to upload it. And it should go to this directory right here. And once it's in this directory, you're good to go. Alright, next step, the last one. You want to reopen up XBMC. All right, so once you open up XBMC, I'm going to go over here to settings. Then you want to go to program setting manager right here. And you want to scroll down. Let me see to add ons. Click on add ons right here. And you see where it says install from zip file right here. You want to click on that. And this is where the tricky part is. You gotta locate where your file is stored at. Now, if you store it in the directory, I told you before, all you have to do is click on Home Folder, click on Documents, click on Downloads, and it's right there. I already did this, so I don't want to do it again. And all you do is click on that, and at the bottom right hand corner down here, it's gonna be doing a little spinning thing, it's gonna upload and do all this little stuff. And once it's done that, you're good to go. Alright, so. Once it loads up and do all that crazy stuff, I'm going to go into programs and your Navix should be right here. So you click on it and you're good to go. Now we'll make another tutorial on this on how to, like, to navigate it, how to get your favorites, um, how to save stuff, so forth, how to connect. Because Navix is just a huge thing in, in itself. But just keep it simple. If you need to navigate through it, just click on Navix Media Portal. And let that load up <clears throat> and after that just click on 24 hours or most recently 24 hours which is down here just click on that and it's gonna give you the most recent stuff that they uploaded I actually uploaded but links to the most recent things all right so if you have any questions and comments below go ahead and type them in there let me know till next time